Hi, this is Neil. Welcome to Article Reading for Juniors. Today's article is about Leonardo da Vinci, who is a famous artist from the Renaissance about 500 years ago. But this article talks about how he was important as a scientist, not merely the painter of the famous Mona Lisa painting. The first question we're going to look at is number three. So scroll down there. The author suggests that the first war pilots. Now, it's asking you what does the author suggest about these first war pilots on line 43. So, as always, you need to go down to the line that's being referenced, which is right here, and read the sentence before it. Always read the sentence before the quoted uh, section so you can get a fuller view of what the writer is trying to say and make sure you remember what that thing is. So, start on line 39. Finally, after observing birds, da Vinci recommended that experiments in flight be conducted at a good height from the ground so the pilot would have time to regain equilibrium if it were lost. This recommendation was used during flight experiments by the first war pilots in the early 1900s. So it's saying that the experiments in flight should be done at a good height from the ground, which means when they experiment with flying, they start off high, like from a cliff or something, and then fly off it so that they won't just immediately hit the ground. They can have time to control their flight as they are going. So you're going to look for something that says like they flew off of high level things. So look at the choices. They dressed in outfits that made them look like bats. That's definitely not true. It has something to do with how they flew and where they started their flights from. So get rid of A. What about B? They flew their airplanes off cliffs and mountains. That sounds like what I was talking about before, right? They started off from at a good height from the ground. And a hill or a mountain is something that's a good height off the ground. So let's choose B, making sure that the other two are wrong before we move on. Did they meet and speak with da Vinci before flying for the first time? Definitely not, because he was living in the 16th and 17th century. And, or the 15th and 16th century, and they were flying in the early 1900s, which is the 20th century. So that's hundreds of years after Leonardo died. And it doesn't say they were artists. It says that they flew off of places that were high. So it's definitely not D either. Get rid of that. B is definitely the answer, so we were right the first time. Let's scroll down to number five. Da Vinci's tone on lines 14 through 22 is mostly what? And if you'll remember, tone is how someone says something. If they say it happily, they'd be saying it like, yay, blah, 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 I'm happy. If they say it's sad, the tone would be something like this. I'm so sad. So let's go look at those lines, 14 through 22, right here. A bird is able to fly because it is an instrument working according to mathematical law. Man has the capacity to reproduce all of a bird's movements. The only major problem is maintaining equilibrium. An instrument constructed by man that looks like a bird could easily fly as long as the man supplies the energy to make the wings flap. Blah, blah, blah. And he keeps talking. But when he's saying this, he doesn't sound super happy. He doesn't sound sad. So there are other types of tones that we would be looking for. And here he sounds like he kind of knows what he's talking about. He's just matter-of-factly telling us these things and saying that they're true. So you're looking for something that says he knows that something's true and he's just saying what he knows is true. Which uh, tone fits with that idea? Um, a certain tone is probably the answer. So we're going to click on that because he's certain of what he's saying. He thinks that he's right. But let's look at the others to see if there's not a better one. Doubtful? It's definitely not doubtful because he doesn't seem to doubt himself. He, he's not saying like, I'm not sure or maybe. He's just saying things very, very straightforwardly and matter of fact. Is he nervous? Does he sound like he's stuttering a little bit or doesn't really kind of know what he's talking about? No, he sounds confident. He sounds certain. And overjoyed is wrong, too. He doesn't sound like he's about to burst out of his skin with happiness. He's just describing something to you and describing it in a way that shows he understands it. Let's look at the last question that we'll talk about today, number seven. We can guess that Paolo Guidotti's flying machine looked most like what? So what did his flying machine look like? 
And to get that, you've got to read what it says on those lines and try to imagine what the picture looks like in your head. Before the 1800s, only one person tried to turn da Vinci's theories into reality. An artist named Paolo Guidotti of Lucca, who lived in the late 1500s, read da Vinci's work and made himself wings of whalebone covered with feathers. So he has wings and they're covered with feathers. His first gliding flights were surprisingly successful and he gained considerable proficiency at flight. So how is he flying? He has these wings and it says he's gliding, right? So his flying machine kind of looked like something with wings and something that can glide. So let's look at the answer choices and see which ones fit with that idea of something with wings that can glide. A helicopter. Well, helicopters have those rotating things on the top, uh, not really wings. So that's definitely not going to be right. Get rid of that. A house. Now, my house doesn't have wings, and I don't think yours does either. So that's a really silly answer. Let's get rid of it, too. What about C? A modern-day glider. Well, a glider is, is like an airplane without an engine. It just uses the wind. And it does say he's gliding, and it has wings. So that's probably right. Let's click it. And then a whale. Now it does say it uses whale bone, but whale bone covered with feathers to make wings. So it doesn't look like a whale. Get rid of that. If you have any more questions, you know that you can go to the forum link down here and ask the question writers to explain whatever it is you don't understand. I can't wait to talk to you tomorrow. Have a good week.